Today we are looking at Keynote, so if you will find your app and open it, we are going to look at just a basic overview of how to use this app. Um, to start with, you may come to um, a beginner screen where you can swipe to hit continue, and then um, it may even prompt you to create your own Keynote. If not, you should see, similar to me, this plus sign in the top left hand corner. And if you just click that, it'll let you create a new presentation. These are basically um, your templates that you can choose from. So you can choose to make it as plain or as um, colorful as you'd like. I'm just going to pick a sample one. You do not have to choose the same one. And then you're going to get to a menu like this. So just to give you a little highlight of what you're seeing here, this is going to take you back to your presentations add additional slides, and then you have some different tools up here. This is going to be formatting. This is going to allow you to add new media. This is if you want to share or um, send your presentation out. This will be your settings, and this is going to be your guide um, to playing your keynote. So the first thing, um, the kind of basics to start, is you can see it tells you to double tap to edit. So I'm going to double tap and you will see um, that it allows me to put text in there um, very simply. If I take that box and I tap it, you'll notice that a blue ring comes around it and I have some options. Your normal kind of cut, um, delete, copy. You can also comment on it, animate it if you want to add in like some transitions or have it read it. Um, you'll also notice that up at the top, we're looking at your tools now. You can click this paintbrush, which is your format, and it's giving you some options. So by default, mine went to arrange. So if I wanted to move it, you know, behind or in front, I can kind of scale it back if I had multiple things to layer. I have some columns options. If I click up here where it says text, then I can choose to change my font, I can change the color, and I can change the size bold print, um, italics, underline, all the basics. And you can just scroll to look through those. If I look at style, um, it's going to give me like some style options for my text box. So if I want to kind of give it a background, um, I can choose one of these preset ones or in the style options, you can see I can fill it, give it a border, turn it on or off. And if I turn it on, I have some options and also effects. So if I want to have like a reflection or a shadow. Again, this is where you can add different media. So the first option is um, a chart and you can choose through some formats. These are um, graphics. So you have 2D, 3D, and some interactive ones, which are really neat. You have your shape tool. And if you scroll over on these, you'll see different colors can always change the color after the fact. Um, and then the last one is photos. Note, notice that you can get um, from your recently added photos, your camera roll, um, you can insert them from other places or some apps are compatible. So you're seeing some of my compatible apps or you can directly take the photo um, now if you haven't, if you didn't have one to start with. This is the share button as I mentioned before. So you can send a copy, put it in your iCloud or open it in another app, which is a good tool such as open it in iMovie and then you can kind of narrate over your um, presentation and turn it into a movie. These are all your tools, so transitions and builds, your finder, um, your presentation notes, if you choose to add so, and some other presentation tools, such as links and type. The play button is just simply going to allow you to put it in presentation mode. And you can um, make that full screen and use your marker to write on it. And then you can go back. When you're ready to add another slide, you can just hit your plus sign and you'll see all the different templates for you to choose from. I'm going to click on one that has a photo just to show you some other options here. Just as I clicked on the text box and put a blue box around it, I can do the same with photos. And notice down here this plus sign. So I can choose to add my photo that way. I can also format my photo the same way that I did my text. So if I want to arrange it, if I want to replace it, um, or some different style options such as borders, shadows, and so forth. 
these are the basic um, guides to using Keynote.